Hai. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rabbi yassir wa latu asir wa bitamin bil khair. Alright. Today we're going to learn um, about a small component but a very essential one in air distribution system which is fan. Without the fan, then uh, we cannot blow the treated air. Um, all right. So the principles, the principles of fan, um, as I mentioned before, actually fan is a prime mover of an air system or ventilation system. And um, it is valid. Uh, this component is very important for both heating and also cooling in air conditioning system. And fan is needed to distribute air through ductwork to the space or to the room that we want to uh, provide or to supply the treated and cool or heated air. So you have to know several types of fan and its performance so that you know which one to be uh, to choose in your design later on. So there are three main types of fan, which are centrifugal, axial flow fan, and also there are special designs of fan, depending on your needs. All right, this is actually the um, one type of fan, which is centrifugal fan. And as you can see in this picture, uh, the the air um, is moved in a spiral form so that it has a drastic change in its velocity. Here we have a narrow path and it's getting bigger and bigger until it is blown out. Blown out. All right, so this is basically the look of centrifugal and axial flow fan. For centrifugal, uh, air is pulled along fan shaft and blown radially. As I said, it's like a uh, what we call snail uh, snail shape. Uh, it is blown radially away from the shaft. And the air is collected by scroll casing. Here we have this casing and concentrated into one direction. So here comes the inlet, inlet air, and it moves towards the center. It is concentrated and those the velocity increases, then the air is blown through uh, the central of the fan, or the centrifugal fan. And it is normally used in ducted AC system. Um, for centrifugal fan, we have another six types of centrifugal fan, which are forward curve, backward curve, radial tip, radial blade, airfoil, and backward backward incline type and for axial flow the air is pulled along fan shaft and blown along along the same direction and there are two types of axial flow fan which are propeller um, and also tube axial all right these are the types of centrifugal fans of uh, impeller blades. This one we call radial blade. 
This is backward incline. As you can see, it is a bit inclined. I mean the blade, you, you have to see the blade. All right, the airfoil, the blade is the airfoil type. It is like um, the wing of an aeroplane shape. It's airfoil. So radial tip, and here is a backward curve, and here is the forward curve. And for axial flow fans, the first figure is a propeller type. The second figure is a tube axial. The axial, but it is in tube. And the third one is the vein axial. And for the vein axial, it has a stationary veins connected to it. All right, for centrifugal fan, um, forward curve, it has a uh, low initial cost than backward. It, it has high operating system, but it has lower efficiency. And the rising brake horsepower characteristic curve results in overloading the motor when operated beyond selected CFM. The, the air capacity and forward curve is normally used in a package unit. For backward curve, it has initial uh, higher initial cost, but it has lower operating cost. It has higher efficiency, but it has limiting horsepower characteristic, reduce the possibility of overloading the motor. Okay, if you compare these two types, the forward, cur the forward curve, it has a lower initial cost, the backward curve has higher initial cost, but for forward curve, it has higher operating system. And for backward curve, it has lower uh, operating cost. But in terms of efficiency, um, Backward curve has higher efficiency if compared to forward curve. So it depends um, on the costs uh, that are willing to be spent by the client. Um, and we have to see the specification from the client. If the client said that uh, they need a higher efficiency fan then forward curve is uh, should be recommended by by an engineer or by you but then they have to really understand that uh, the the initial cost of backward curve is higher all right let's see the radial blade and fr blade of centrifugal fan the radial blade the blades are radial to the fan shaft and normally it has less efficient, it is less, not least, yeah, it is less efficient of, uh, if compared to other types of centrifugal fans, it has low volume at high pressure, it has large wheel diameter for given volume, those it, uh, incur the higher cost. And for the airfoil blade, the name is derived from airfoil shape of blades. And it, this uh, airfoil blade is developed to provide high efficiency fan. Normally, the airfoil blade is used in large hatchback and clean air industrial systems where energy savings uh, is the most important um, specification from the client. All right, if we compare to uh, all these four types of blade of centrifugal fan, the air for bladed has the highest efficiency. All right, let's take a look at radial tip, the fifth type of centrifugal fan. The blades are 
radial to the fan shaft of the outer extremity of impeller, but gradually slope towards the direction of the wheel dire uh, rotation. Um, this radial tip, it is more efficient than the radial blade but it has uh, lesser efficiency uh, if compared to backward inclined efficiency. That means uh, if you compare the radial blade type, the radial tip and also the backward incline, the backward incline it has the highest efficiency uh, followed by radial tip and the last one and the least efficient is the radial blade. All right. Now, we have completed the six types of centrifugal fan and now we come to axial flow fan. There are three types as we mentioned before, tube axial, vein axial and also the propeller type. For the tube axial, the, the air distribution of tube axial, uh, axial is uneven and um, normally uh, we do not want to use a tube axial type. And for vein axial, it is suitable for ducted air conditioning system. It produces higher noise level than the centrifugal one. Um, therefore, we need a uh, sound attenuator. And vein axial type, vein axial axial uh, flow fan has a compact physical constru construction and this is very, very useful when we have um, a small space or when the space is limited. Um, propeller type, for propeller type, it cannot create high pressure and therefore um, it, it, it only uh, be used when there is little or no duct work. That means direct. We use the fan direct to the space. There are also special design fans. The special design fans um, required quality demand design innovation, exotic materials and precision precision manufacturing techniques. Um, this is only uh, designed whenever it's needed and when it, there is a specific or special uh, customized um, specification of fan. Okay, this is the examples of special design fan it is how it's it looks like it look like okay um this is the type of fan also uh, the first one is a mixed flow. The second one is a cross flow, which is tangential flow. Um, the third one is uh, other design. Under this other design, we have here the power roof ventilators. Normally, it's used on the roof. Um, we have also two types for power ventilators, which are axial and also centrifugal. And the other one, um, under other design, we have tubular centrifugal fan. Okay, the mixed flow is actually the combination of axial and centrifugal characteristics. Uh, it is suitable for the application which the air has to flow in or out axially and it has higher pressure than axial fan. For the cross flow, it has impeller with forward curved blades. 
and it uses the uh, turbulence concept and it deflects the airflow through another section of rotor to discharge um, the air. But it has lowest efficiency of any type of fan. All right, the tubular centrifugal fan, it has a performance similar to backward curve fan. And uh, except it, but its capacity and pressure are lower. Uh, if compared to backward curve fan, it has lower efficiency than that. Similar but lower. A little bit lower. All right, for power roof ventilators, uh, for centrifugal type, it has low pressure exhaust systems such as uh, general factory, kitchen, warehouse, and some commercial installations. It provides positive exhaust ventilation. This is an advantage over gravity type exhaust uh, units. And it is slightly qu uh, quieter than the axial unit. And the, for the axial type for power roof ventilators, um, it has low pressure exhaust systems and normally it's used in general factory, kitchen, warehouse and commercial installations like mall, for example. All right. So fan performance and characteristic. Okay, this is where we have to really understand um, how the fan perform and also how, um, um, what it is, what is the characteristic of the fan so that we can choose uh, the best and the most suitable one for our system. All right. The airflow in the dark uh, resistance is due to the friction. And to overcome the resistance, energy in form of pressure must be supplied to the air. Therefore, there, there where the, there's where the fan comes in. Because the rotating fan impeller it exerts a force on the air, resulting in both flow of the air and also increasing the pressure. The volume flow rate and the pressure created by fan, uh, it is called performance characteristic. We have to see um, three or four items to consider the performance char characteristic of a fan, which is the volume flow rate in CFM. Normally, we read in CFM. Second one is the pressure. The third one is the fan's efficiency. And the last one is the BHP. It is the brake horse power. It is useful for correct fan selection um, and normally this performance characteristic of a fan is presented in form of curve so that we can uh, easily see the performance and read the, the data. Alright, this is all the terms that are normally uh, associated with fan performance. Volume flow rate, normally in CFM, your cubic feet per minute. The second one is PS, a small s, is static pressure and the unit is normally in inch water gauge. Then the third one is PT, the total pressure, which is also in inch water gauge. BHP is a brake horsepower. 
this is actually the energy consumption. HP is the horsepower. This indicates the size of the fan. And N is the speed in rotation per minute. Uh, sorry, re revolution per minute. And ME is a mechanical efficiency. Uh, mechanical efficiency is equals to the horsepower, which is the output of a fan, over the BHP, or the brake horsepower BHP. And this is the input or the energy consumption by a fan. All right, so this is the curve, basically how it looks like. The fan performance and characteristic. In figure 10.5, you can see the typical uh, performance characteristic of a forward curved blade centrifugal fan. And in figure 10.6, this is a typical performance characteristic of a backward curved blade centrifugal fan. All right, in the figure, we can see there are three curves. The first one is a static pressure the mechanical efficiency, and the last one is a brake horsepower. Remember, brake horsepower is the, is it output or is it input? Right, you can refer the previous slide. BHP is the energy consumption, right. All right, for both forward and backward curve blade centrifugal fan, the pressure developed has a slight peak in the middle range flow. Then the pressure drops off as the flow increases. As the CFM increases, the pressure dropped. You can uh, see the static pressure of both um, types of uh, centrifugal fan 10.5 10.6 both shows the same as the cfm increases the static pressure drops right the second point the brake horsepower required for the forward curve blade fan increases sharply with flow but with backward curve blade fan the bhp increase only gradu gradually and it its peak is at the maximum and then it falls off. All right. That means um, the 10.5, the forward curve bleed fan, uh, the BHP, you can see the brake horsepower it increases sharply with the CFM. But for uh, backward curve uh, blade centrifugal fan, the brake horsepower increases only gradually. And then it has a peak here, or approximately here, and then it falls off. For the third one, Efficiency is the highest in the middle range of the uh, in the middle of the range flow, and this valids for both. Yeah, the mechanical efficiency for backward curve is also uh, approximately in the, in the middle, and the mechanical efficiency of the forward curve blade centrifugal fan is also uh, in the mid range. A higher maximum efficiency can be achieved with a backward curve blade fan. Just to note again, recap from the previous slide, that the backward curve blade centrifugal fan has higher efficiency than forward curve blade centrifugal fan. All right, this is example. What? is a static pressure or PS will the fan whose performance curves 
as shown in the figure below, develop at a delivery of 20,000 CFM. And what is the uh, brake horsepower and also the mechanical efficiency at this condition? So you just take the 20,000 CFM and draw the red line that uh, crosses all three curves. And from there, you can read uh, the according uh, the, the respective mechanical efficiency, which is about here. If we have here uh, 60, 80, this is 100, so about 88 or something. And then um, read the uh, static pressure is about 5.8 or something, 5.6, 5.8. And the make uh, the brake horsepower. Always read uh, the related axis. Okay, as you can see, the mechanical efficiency is in percent, and BHP is also uses the same axis, and the static pressure is the left right hand uh, sorry left hand axis on your left. All right, so the, the brake horsepower is about 42 horsepower. Okay, the, ans the answer is the mechanical, you can see the, the answer at the bottom of this slide. The mechanical efficiency is about 80%. The brake horsepower is about 42 horsepower and the static pressure is 5.8 inch water gauge. So our guests are correct. For the fan rating, there are two, uh, two types to see the performance uh, of a fan. You can use curve or you can also use table. For the performance curve, it enables the engineer to visualize the changes in brake horsepower, static pressure, and also its efficiency. And normally, it, uh, the performance curve is available from manufacturer, or it can also be predicted from fan law. Fan law, we can uh, calculate the formula for it, and we will see in the next, next slide. And for the table, uh, it replaces a large number of curve when there are too much data. And um, normally table is used more often and the operating condition at maximum efficiency is not clearly understood because it is not a curve. There are steps uh, or uh, between the data, for example, five, 10, 15. So um, the exact value of the maximum efficiency, you have to uh, do the interpolation or, or you, uh, the best is you draw the curve so that you can see which point is the maximum. And to ease the client, normally the manufacturer will note the point of the maximum efficiency in table with star or something. How to select a fan? First, we have to calculate the static pressure resistance. Second step, from the manufacturer's data, the required CFM against the system static pressure resistance for, uh, for the right fan is selected. Because we know the static pressure that are required to be uh, to be overcome. 
to be over overcame then uh, we can select the fan from the manufacturer's data and the selection criteria is the energy consumption the best fan is actually a fan with the enough um, CFM but has the lowest energy consumption. This is the conventional way to select a suitable fan for HVAC system. Um, and nowadays we know that energy efficiency is, uh, is in trend and it's very essential to minimize the energy consumption. Therefore, the total pressure must also be calculated. Okay, this is the curve that shows the performance of a fixed fan size running at a fixed speed. Okay, we have here the power curve. Uh, we have the horsepower curve or HP. And we also have... Uh, the efficiency curve and here is the total pressure curve so that our selection range uh, must be uh, on on this should be or the most suitable one is with this uh, dark black dark highlighted uh, range why? Because it has uh, the total, uh, quite high total pressure. Uh, sorry. Um, with um, with uh, the maximum efficiency because you, you can, as you can see the dotted line here is the uh, efficiency curve and the dotted line here shows the range of the highest efficiency of the fan so that's why the fan should be selected um, within this range. For example, if you take this point, the uh, maximum point of the total pressure curve, um, let's say here, about here, and uh, you draw a line, as you can see, it crosses at the low efficiency curve and the power also low. That is why we need to select uh, the uh, high efficiency one, but it has a high power. Yeah, it has high power and also high efficiency, uh, even though the uh, total pressure is slightly lower. Okay. This is how uh, you choose a fan. Let's say you already have the static pressure and you know uh, the nearest one, uh, it should be uh, the same or a slightly higher static pressure uh, in inches of water gauge. Let's say your fan, you have uh, 0.36. And from these models, the nearest one is 0 0.375. Then you take this one. 
and the model is for 2020 and it has two horsepower. It has 385 revolution per minute. And this is the selected CFM. Um, this is the brake horsepower at the selected performance. First, you see the, the, the most important one, you have first to see a static pressure. And then you can see the CFM. If the CFM is in range as required by your system and the static pressure also can overcome the resistance in your system, then this model should be choose. Should be chosen. Okay, now let's come to the fan laws. Relationship among fan performance, because we talked about fan performance earlier. Now, the relationship among the fan performance for a given fan operating at change condition or for different size fans of similar construction. So these fan laws uh, are useful to predict the performance when the conditions are changed. It is not practical to test every fan at every variable which may be encountered. Fortunately, there are a series of equations that can be used uh, to predict the good accuracy of a performance of a fan at different variables. This we call fan laws. All right, these are the formulas that we normally use to predict the, the size or the speed of, the, of a fan. If the size, um, I mean the propeller size uh, is constant, then the variable would be the speed. For example, uh, a fan has three different speed, or maybe five. Okay, so these are the variables of the fan. But if the speed is constant, then you have to, to change the size. So the equation that can be used for the size that is constant, and you need a variable speed, then you can use these equations, these three equations. Q1 over Q2 is equals to N1 over N2. And P1 over P2 is equals to N1 over N N2 squared. HP1 over HP2 is equals to N1 over N2 cubic. And Q is uh, uh, airflow, airflow rate, and is the revolution per minute, and P is the power, HP is the horsepower. Please refer to the previous slide for these terms. And so, there are three uh, formulas for the constant speed of a fan to predict the size of the fan of when they are uh, when the conditions differ then you want you would want to predict the size of the uh, fan in a new condition with a constant speed then these formulas are useful to calculate the size, the new size of the fan in a new condition. All right, there is, this is uh, 
the examples. Maybe you can calculate later by using um, by using the formulas that I've shown you just now. So happy calculating, and we can uh, further discuss the matter in our face-to-face uh, -face construction session. Inshallah. I will inform you when it is ready. Thank you.